Hello Superherder and welcome man to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and today we're going to be making our way over to our very first care center for a Pokemon. I always forget what it's called but we're going to find out together right now. Lily's supposed to be leading us, she's just sort of waiting there for us. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center, follow me. Okay, sure. So I guess we're going into the Pokemon Center. Ooh, some interesting music in here. Hi, how are you? If you talk to that woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. She's nodding, yeah, she agrees. It's amazing, isn't it? I, I guess. I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. I don't see anyone good. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. And who's that? Oh, that guy sells stuff. So the, it's all, it's all one shop now. And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that sure to help you during your trials. In the other games, it used to be two different buildings. If I'd take a look if I were you. Well, that's sort of convenient, and oh hey, Starbucks. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax here sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo milk. I read something in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. Ooh. Okay, so we might want to go and talk to him. We should head to the trainer school next. But have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think that they need a little aid. Okay, I'll do just that. That feels like the tutorial section in this game is longer than normal. Okay, so we have a, uh, what's his name talking here? Uh, so the trainer school, I didn't even get to read it. Okay, never mind. He just like doesn't give you a chance to read it, like something about the trainer school. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Uh, sure, I mean, what do I have to lose? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Cool, cool. All right, so healing both Charco and Pokepeck. I appreciate it. We'll try to catch a new Pokemon today if we find anything cool. Thanks for waiting. Pikipeck and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Why can't nobody just say my Pokemon's name? So this is the PC we could put new Pokemon in, take old Pokemon out, all that kind of stuff. Not interested. You know, we have everybody on our team. We, we want them on our team right now. What about you, Saren? Hello. You can have the six Pokemon with you in your, on your team when you're walking around. Catch any more than that and you should have them sent to the PC box. Okay, hello. You can buy things and sell things at the Pokemon. I feel better with a bag full of plenty of potions and Pokeballs. What about you? Don't talk to me. <laughs> you can talk to me, I just, I don't know the answer. Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? Yeah, sure, well, maybe we can buy something. Um, so they have Pokeballs, which we have 10 of. Let's just try to get 10 of everything, if we can afford that. We got 35,000 now, it's okay, yeah, we can afford that. All right, so 10 of that. Oh, we got, a, okay, 11 now, whoops. Um, yeah, like maybe five of these, I mean, yeah, sure, just five of everything if we have none of it. If we're close to 10, we'll, we'll boost it up to 10, maybe. Maybe it would take too long to buy all this right now. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and buy it real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so I spent about 10,000 there, nothing huge. We're gonna earn more money soon. Like We've barely done any battles and we've had 35,000. And I know that was something that was spending money from mom, but I think that'll be helpful just because now that we've bought it, we won't need it, probably most of it, anytime soon. Any Pokemon trainer in the world can have their, have their Pokemon healed or use the PC here for free. Thanks. I like how we can run around indoors. Hello. If you use communication features to trade Pokemon with a friend, you'll both be happy. It basically doubles your happiness. Oh, okay. Hi. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about 10 a.m., 10, I guess 10 a.m., now in Alola. Here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. What can I get started for you today? Uh, we got lemonade, moon milk, pinap juice, and never mind. I want a cup of never mind, please. Uh, we'll do lemonade. A lemonade will be 198, will that be all right? Sure, we'll buy a little bit of everything. Uh, got it. Then if you'll just give me a moment, there's some lemonade. Do we have to drink it right now? Here we are, one lemonade just for you. This is her cafe's original blend made with plenty of freshly picked Alolan berries. Its intensely sweet flavor will linger on pleasantly for hours. When you get to be my age, it really makes you think about things. They say time is money, but time itself is actually really important. I mean, you can never buy more than more, more time for yourself with money, right? The present is a true, it's truly a present. Once it's gone, you can never get it back. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. Oh, thanks. This is a popular snack in Lumio City in the Kalos region. You ordained a Lumio Skelet. You open the, up the medicine pocket and put the Lumio Skelet away inside. 
I don't understand, glut, is that the biscuit? I don't know what the word glut is. Uh, we'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Oh, thanks. You got some Poke Beans, yay! <laughs> I love Poke Beans. Poke Beans are a specialty in Alola, uh, and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh, and they'll become more affectionate. Awesome. They're gonna get all the beans in. Please come visit us again, so should I buy the other stuff as well? Nah, sure, why not? Um, so, let's try some Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk, it will be 198. Will that be all right? Of course it is. So what are you gonna, what, which, what, what paragraph are you gonna tell me about Moo Moo Milk? Got it, then I'll, if you just give me a moment. I'm tapping my foot here. Don't even have a foot, I have a hoof. Here you are. One Moo Moo Milk just for you. Just one sip and you'll be hooked. The milk is so mellow, I thought it said yellow, I was like, yeah. <laughs> the, this milk is so mellow yet rich that it'll make you wish your mother were a milk tank, or a milk tank. You can have Pokemon battles with your friends or with people you don't know. Battles can get so hot that you completely lose track of time. And time isn't money like I just gave you a lecture about as well. Okay, so let's go buy the last one. Everybody's just brimming with information, aren't they? So let's finally get a pinap juice. I, like she was saying that like one of these will be exclusive to each shop, but she didn't really tell me which one was. So I figured I'd get one of everything. All right, we're spending a lot of cash, but it'll be our last time doing it for a little while, I think. And then we'll move to the Poke School. Here you are, one to pin up juice just for you. Please enjoy the harmonious, harmonious to tones of sweet and sour that can only be performed by pinap grown under the Alolan sun. Vehicles sure are convenient. You can get to go, or you can get to where you're going a whole lot faster than if you had to walk everywhere. So by convenient, I mean they'll save you a lot of time. He is just obsessed with time. Like he must be counting down the seconds until he can get out of this place. He must hate his job or something, I don't know. Okay, well, there we go. There is the Poke Center. Definitely a center of Poke related things. Hi Lily, here we are. You see the trainer school is something. It's a, what in the world? Oh my, oh hey, it's a Tauros, right? What is he doing in the center of the street? Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway, until he starts charging at us and just knocks us out of the road. We'll just leave, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. That's definitely the attitude you wanna have. Uh -huh. What do you think we'll find at this trainer school place? I don't know, Rotom. Uh, the trainer school, an education that'll make your Pokemon smile. I sure hope so. That's the whole goal, right? Is to make them happy. Route one, trainer school. Oh, this place looks fancy, I like it. Hey, everybody's here too, hi, Kukui. Hey there, Zebra. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? Welcome to the trainer school, this place to learn, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Oh, hey, cool, they even have like little battling areas. Professor Kukuin, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, Zebra's a real tough one, too. Put him through the ringer good, Teach. Four trainers. You've gotta beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Zebra. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Are we gonna get the experience, Sharon? Wow, I thought you only got that like the middle of the game. Okay, you'll know the key items back in, put the experience share away inside. I love this thing. If you keep that experience share at home, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. So you don't even have to, I don't even have to play as Pokepack for him to get experience now. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside our outside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help you on your journey, I'd say. All right, let the lesson begin. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a, a, a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. So that's how we know what's super effective and what's not. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time, oh yeah. Well, I'll do that. You got anything to say, Lily? I'm all, wait, wait, Rotom's saying, you have to be four other trainers. Good luck, pal, I bet you can do it. Zzz. You can also you can tell me any time that you want your team's health to be restored and I'll help you. Seeing a Pokemon in pain makes my own heart seem to ache. Okay, so she can heal. Is this a plaque? Let's learn and grow, and let's grow and train. Unsullied, unenjoyable, and ac academic. Everyone starts at the beginning. 
Cool, and there's a little parking lot. So let's get our first Pokeball over here and probably one out of the four trainers. You found a potion, I just bought a couple of those. You went out the medicine pocket and did your blah, blah, blah. Hello, oh you're not. Are you got a tennis racket? If my precious bond slide takes damage in a Pokemon battle, I want to use a potion on it. Oh, oh so you were a battler. Okay, sure. Hi, <laughs> you were challenged by youth athlete Hiromi. She'll hit you with her tennis racket if you end up beating her. I'm not, I'm not excited for this. <laughs> It'd be fun if she hit it with the tennis racket, but it'd be awful too. Oh, it's whatever this thing's called. I love this guy. Okay, so we have Poke Pack out right now. We're, it should be good against Grass type regardless, right? So we'll try it. Flying versus Grass, I think flying is super effective, but we'll find out. No, it's not. It's not very effective. Oh, okay. Got a little mixed up. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and switch. And we'll probably put Charco back in lead since Poke Pack is caught up now. All right then. Pokeback, come back. We'll deal with you later. Go, Charco. All right, Charco's gonna tear him up then. Fire versus grass always wins. It's, I think it's bird versus bug. Whoa, whoa, okay, wait, are you water too? Charco's special defense harshly fell. All right, let's fight. And let's use ember. That's definitely gonna work. Charco used ember, maybe even like a one hit KO. No, it's not. Oh. Okay. Weird. So what typing are you? I don't know, we're gonna scratch you then. Um, Charco, you scratch. Not very effective. What is going on with this thing? I thought it was gonna be like a grass water. Let's try Lick. Maybe it's a normal type. Oh wow, that seemed to do more damage, so we'll keep doing that. It's paralyzed, it may be unable to move. The opposing bond slide is paralyzed. Awesome, so at least that worked out. Paralyzed. All right, let's try that again then, because it actually does some decent damage. So both our normal and fire moves don't work. Maybe we, could, we should pull out the Pokedex and check this thing out. I have, of course, been reading all of you guys' suggestions and info you've been giving me about Pokemon. Thank you guys so much for that. Of course, I'm sure I, I let you guys know enough. I'm pretty beginner at most of the stuff, so there's, there's so many Pokemon, I don't know all of them. So when you guys let me know about it, I do appreciate it. So Charco use Lick. You go, Charco. Nice, nice. Okay, so they keep flailing around. It is doing some, oh, decent damage. If we could just finish him off right here, that'd be great. Come on, come on, use Lick. Is that enough? It is just barely, yeesh. I definitely gotta go back to Lily and get some heals. 74 experience points, I'll care for you. We got level nine right here for Charco. Maybe even for um the other one as well. Uh, Pokey Peck. Okay, Poke Peck in 74, defeated athlete Hiromi. Don't worry, I'll heal any pain that was caused by your defeat. All right, or by our defeat. <laughs> okay, so we were to go to go ahead and care for Charco here. That's what I'd like to do. Okay, so I first need to get the little brush, and then I just need to brush him off, I think. No, wrong one. What else can I use then? Oh, the comb. No, that's not. I'm really bad with touch screens, hold on. There we go, that's a comb. Got it, come on. I love Poke, not Pokepec, but Charco's so cute, he's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm used to it. Treated like a prince, I deserve it. All right, yay, happiness. Okay, you want a bean, buddy? Oh wow, we got lots of beans. Okay, have a bean, you get a red one. Did, oh, you don't like red beans, huh? Well, maybe you like a blue bean. No, I don't get it. Um, I'm gonna try one more. Try the light blue one. Oh, 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 oh. get it. What's your problem? <laughs> I'm gonna try one more, let's try the green one. Am I, oh, oh, I hold it out. Oh, okay, you light that on. Okay, we'll give you one more, we'll give you a red one. Okay, so I don't know how many beans I'm supposed to be giving them because I got tons of them but they're happy about it. Like how many beans we got right now? We got so many, we got 20, or what's that? Yeah, that's 21 there, 27, 33, like over 50 of them. Come on, eat this one up. Are you supposed to like level up from beans? Come on, come on. Well, you like it, okay. I'm done feeding you beans now. Oh, I guess I could also give fullness. Okay, so we can feed them up to, ah, okay, so you know what? While we're down here, let's also do this to you. 
I don't know, if, are you damaged at all? You should be a little, a little bit damaged, I think. Okay, so we're gonna clean up all this gruff off Ian. You adorable little Pokemon, you. There we go, there we go, and... Got it, awesome! So now, oh, uh, oh, I think we tickled you a little bit, cute. Okay, so we're gonna use lots of the blue ones because we have lots of blue ones. Even birds like beans, what do you know? You're a bean bird. So we can give you up to five beans and that'll make you happy. I think that also a, ver a variety diet of beans will be good as well, but I honestly have no clue. This bean thing is very new to me. I mean, this whole grooming thing is very new to me as well. Um, We'll go ahead and give you this. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, up, up. And that's our third bean. So, if we give you two more, you should be a happy little bean pal. Uh, Got it. And then we'll give you one last one. You don't like this one? Oh, you don't. Okay, you don't like purple. Do you like red? You don't like, you are picky, or are you full? You might just be full. I'm gonna try giving you the, the one I've had success with, the blue one. You are full. All right, that's okay. You are so adorable. Okay, so that is, yep, you're full. Your enjoyment isn't there yet. I really don't know how to increase that stuff, but it seems to help, right? How mandatory is this stuff? If you guys wanna let me know, how much time should I be spending on that? Is that something I should be doing like every battle? Or is it just something I don't even have to worry about too much? You can help your Pokemon win by using items at the right time. They can do more than just healing your Pokemon's HP too. You can even boost their stats and things like that. All right, cool, keep that in mind. Now what about this? Um, the school has an incinerator. Burning garbage can be the be one way to reduce the volume of waste. And that's it. It isn't for Pokemon, please don't. Okay, so uh, where's Lily at? Lily is down here, and hey Lily, heal me up. Okay. So there's that done. Please try not to push your Pokemon too hard, uh, I mean, if you don't mind. Of course not. I'm not trying to, it's not intentional. So out here in the field, I'm sure there'll be at least one trainer. Hey, dude, you wanna know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest, that's why. Strong people stand. What do you mean? I wouldn't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. All right, see you soon. Um, this is a potion, cool. I think we might be going against a double battle here in a moment with these two people standing here. Maybe not, then. Ready, and grass, fire, water. Oh, they're doing rock, paper, scissors, okay. Um, which one wins again? Which one, would, which one would win a matchup between water type and a fire type? Water. Yep, all right. Right, right, yeah, that's it. You must be a great trainer. Oh, that's it? <laughs> okay. Um, let's look for some other trainers around here. Can we open this little door? Uh, We can. We're on the other side now. Okay, this is tall grass, we gotta be careful. There's like a little beehive. There's a thermometer in there. It looks like you can tell what the weather is like. Okay, you're not gonna tell me? You found an antidote, awesome. I'm getting all the stuff I just bought. Okay, well there's an antidote. Antidotes are great against poison. Poison seems to be one of the least pleasant ones. This is a paralyzed heal. Paralyzed is not fun either, so it's good to have all this stuff. I mean, the more the merrier. I just wanted to sort of like a bare minimum. Oh, are you a trainer? I'll show you my grammar's best move with poison gas. It'll poison everyone that comes at us. Okay, well it's a good thing I just got that antidote. And I never switched to uh, Charco being the front one. That's okay, next battle I'll do it, but I don't even know what type Grimer is. I think Grimer, Grimer's like a dark. I need to check the Pokedex, whoa! You got a beard, okay. He's got a blonde beard. Is this, I think this is an Alolan breed Grimer, I guess. Let's try flying against it then. I'm not really sure what's good against dark, but not bad, I mean it didn't do anything specific, ow. That hurt, let me right across the face. What will Pokepec do? You bet we will growl. All right, we'll use growl. All right, I didn't really mean to choose that, but you know what? Sometimes we gotta use moves. So his attack fell, which ain't too bad. He uses poison gas, but as long as we can survive, are you gonna get poisoned? You are, and poor Pokepec. Okay, so that's okay, we can still survive. We can still keep doing this. Oh geez, that does hurt them. Um, You only have one Pokemon though. Echoed voice, we could try a normal attack, see if that does any better. Now this is the move that the more we do it, the better it gets, which is fantastic. Ooh, and it hurts already. Okay, so ouch. That didn't do too bad, but the poison is what's stacking on top of that, which makes it even worse. No, no, that's not the... I, I, okay, I'm still getting used to the controls. I tried to run away. <laughs> okay, use echoed voice again. 
All right. Oh, wow, look at that. That was great. So now we can just, you know, rush our Poke Pack to Lily. So I won't use Care this time. Grew to level nine. Awesome. And we learned Rock Smash. Wow, Rock Smash? I know I'm getting really confused on the typing of this, this little bird. No, the Grimer I found in the tall grass near the school was defeated? You receive 140 for winning. Cool, maybe we should get Grimer. Seems it could be a nice variety to our team. I don't think I, I would want, you know, like Grimer like a permanent part of my team. Grass type Pokemon are immune to powder moves like Poison Powder and Sleep Powder. Cool, but you can still poison them with Poison Gas. Good to know. So let me just try to get out of here really quick and heal with my, or heal with Lily. And then we'll change the order of our Pokemon really quick and then we'll maybe try to look for Grimer. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, hello. Let me take care of your poor Picky Peck, okay? I know. It's Pokey Peck, nobody likes to get his name right. Okay, so there's that. Let me quickly, no, not Pokedex. Um, actually, maybe we should check out the Pokedex really quickly. Um, where is the one we just fought? The Bonsline. Like, what type, kind of typing is Bonsline? It's a rock. Oh, okay. I thought it was grass. So, got Bonsly is a rock. Where's Where's Grimer? Grimer's here. Grimer, Grimer is a poison dark, which is interesting. I didn't even realize poison was a typing. Maybe I did at some point. I just forgot now. But cool. Let's go ahead and um, find Grimer then. I'll, also, I need to go to my Pokemon. So, who's good against poison and dark? Um, let's move Charco here. There we go, so Charco's in the lead down. And let's see what else we can do around here. I'm sure something, right? Well, I wanna get Grimer. Yeah, I don't really know. Like, I would think that, I think Dark is good against Normal. Or maybe Normal's good against, ah, it's so easy to get confused. <laughs> okay, this is Grimer, awesome. So we found the Grimer right away with his wonderful little beard, his drooping, dripping beard. Okay, so. Charco, I mean, we already tried using a normal attack on him and it wasn't super effective, but this stuff is effective, it's not super effective. So, it's at least worth using. I'm glad it does tell you that stuff, because I need it. All right, you can use poison gra or poison gas right away, which is just fun. But after, we're gonna, we're gonna capture you, I think. So if we could hit you one more time without taking you out, that'd be great, and I think we could do that. So if we just fire you again, it shouldn't take you out unless we get like a critical hit, which would be silly. Ooh, it was close, okay. Now that you're lowered, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, oof, get poisoned. We are going to pull out our bag, get a, oh, how do I do that? Uh, Pokeball, Pokeball, and use it. See if we use a Pokemon, catch! Yeah, okay, so far so good. Oh my, come on, you can do it, I believe in you. Yeah, okay, we got him. Gotcha, Grimer was caught. Cool, so we got our third Pokemon. Charco gained 42 experience. That got him a level up, level 10, double digits, baby. And what about uh, the rest of your team gained experience? Of course, but didn't tell me the experience because he wants to tell me about Grimer. Grimer's data was will be added to the Pokedex. Very cool. <laughs> I like that. Blah, Grimer and register. I love the colorful rainbow text. Congrats, you're registered po a Pokemon in the Pokedex. It's a red letter day, and I'm uh, about as red as anything. What, what does that mean? I don't know. He's two feet tall, he weighs 92 pounds. There are a 100 or so of them living in Alola's waste disposal site. They're all hard workers who eat a lot of trash. Cool. Okay, so apparently he's a male and female. Grimer, oh yeah, we gotta give him a nickname. I don't know what to call him. All right, I'm topping myself for the dumbest name ever. It is Beardy Bill, because he's got a beard, and Bill is a fun alliteration to beard. So he's Beardy Bill. Okay, so there's that done. We should definitely get healed up one more time, and then we'll do something else. Okay, so we're all healed up again. Let's go inside the building. I know there's a side entrance as well, so if we're having a hard time finding anything to get done around here, and we can't go into these flat doors, but we can talk to this kid who won't let us up the stairs. Oh, you stinking mouth. Why do you always love to park it right at the base of the stairs? Well, you're not helping. You're also parked at the base of the stairs. Oh, hey. Are you a teacher or, I don't know, look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not, it would, 
or not now, it would probably get a kick out of this one. Um, you obtained a quick claw, cool, thank you. You have the item's pocket and put it in there. In Pokemon battles, the Pokemon with the highest speed stats or stat get to act first if they get to attack first. But with a quick call, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of its speed, or sometimes anyways, it's better than nothing. Is this a one-time use or multiple? I'll have to look into that. Some items don't do anything unless you give them to a Pokemon to hold. Yeah, let's delete the quick call. Hmm, oh, can we read this? We cannot. What's inside of here? Looks like a classroom of some sort. Hello, anybody here wanna battle me? Uh, let's talk to the teacher. He needs to be teaching something. We occasionally ask Professor Kukui to run a special class for our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon moves after all. Cool. Hello, oh, you, you gonna battle me? Look at my Metapod, it's got an Oran Berry. Oh, here we go, okay, so we do have a battle here. The, the Metapod has an Oran Berry, which I think berries, how they work is that um we can Put that on a Pokemon, and then when it's getting low, it'll eat it naturally and just heal itself. So that's probably what's gonna happen to the Metapod here. So there's a lot of old Pokemon in this game as well. I was thinking that most of it would be new Pokemon I've never seen before, but I guess that's not the case. Either way, it is a grass type, so we should be able to totally destroy him with some Ember. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Oh, one hit is all we need. Sorry, Metapod, you're not gonna be able to use that, that berry. Okay, easy, sorry, kid. Okay, so everybody else is gonna gain some experience. It doesn't tell us how much, but Metapod, here, have a berry. You received 84 points for winning. Cool! So there's that done. Oh, that was unbelievably quick. I'll give you some Oran Berries, too. They're great to have your Pokemon hold. I'll worry about that in the next episode. We gained three Oran Berries. Okay, so we have an individual berries pocket. Metapods look so cute munching down on an Oran Berry in the middle of battle. All right, what about everybody else? Who do you think picks up all the Pokeballs you throw that don't catch any Pokemon. Oh gosh, I don't know. We're lettering so much. Pokemon moves have PP, um, power points. If the PP for a move runs out, your Pokemon won't be able to use it anymore. Not till you get it restored, I mean, and you can just take it to a Pokemon Center for that. Okay. Hello. Petting my Pokemon makes me happy too. And finally, Yoon. I can read, here, watch. Move have Moves have types, just like Pokemon. If you use a move that's the same type as your Pokemon, it will get a special boost in power. Yep, that is true. Type matching, I think it's called, or something, I don't know. Um, either way, we have three out of the four battles done then. This is the, the side exit. So now that we've beaten all the other trainers, we should be able to go against this guy now, right? I'd hope so. Let's try it. hey -o. Uh, Yeah, it's working. Looks like you've beat everybody else, huh? But don't think you'll beat me the same way. Econ's ability is gonna get you. Oh, Econ's. This is the snake guy, spelled backwards. Oh, I like this one. This is a Team Rocket thing. You're challenged by Rising Star Joseph. Well, you know what? This Rising Star is about to be a falling star. Or something, I don't know. Okay, so go Charco, take care of Econ's. Now, Econ's is definitely a poison type. I don't know if that's anything else. Oh, Econ's intimidate right away. Okay, what will Charco do? Anything he can. Maybe we could try like a ghost lick? Let's try that, see what happens. We use lick. Yum. That didn't do too much. It might paralyze though, which is always good. Oh my. That was not fun, but it did like next to no damage. Charco was, oh gosh. I have no idea what that said, but it happened again. Okay, we're hurt by rap. We will fight, and we will use Emburn. And let's see how this does. This I don't think it'll do anything particularly good, but it will do just a lot of damage because we are a fire type using a fire move. All right, come on, Charco, you can do it. You're taking a lot of damage here, but you just gotta hit him one more time and you got him. All right, you ready? Got him. This should take him out, I think. Ready? Boom. Yeah, okay. See ya, Econs, and see ya, F Rising Star guy. Okay. Oh, Beardy Bill, you're girl level six, I'm so proud of you. All right, winning even after you attack status lowered, an indomitable spirit indeed. You received 384, wow, that's a lot. I like it, awesome. So there is all four battles done. Intimidate is an ability that lowers your opponent's attack stat. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, you can use the best strategies in battle. But fine, whatever. I can admit it when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. Oh cool, we got a TM. You obtained TM01, work up. 
You open the TM's pocket and put TM01 away inside. Okay, first thing to know about TMs. Technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon a new move in a flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad, you're up, you're, you are up the creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs. You can use a TM as many times as you want on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift from me, huh? I guess. Cool, so we got TM01, work up. Oh, that's the school bound. Attention all students. Would Zebra please come to the office on 2F? Zebra to the office 2F, please. Oh, great, we're in trouble. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Well, I did defeat every trainer in the school. So you did do something. No, <laughs> we didn't. Are you in trouble? I'd head up to 2F as soon as you can, says Rotom. Can you heal me first? Let me take care of your poor Litten, okay? Thank you. Thank you for taking care of him. And thank you guys for watching today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Beard so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes of this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.